Welcome to the Dell Technologies Avamar How To Series. How to configure plugin based replication to run longer than 24 hours. Reference Dell Knowledge Article Number 58188. This video was created to show the steps required to configure overtime, including updating the MCS GUI, the group policy, and the MCS configuration. The notes section at the end includes an additional step required for Avamar grids running 7.5.1 or lower. In most situations, 24 hours should be sufficient to complete replication. However, there may be circumstances that require this to be extended, such as an initial or catch-up replication. If replication jobs regularly fail to complete within the assigned window, please contact the Dell EMC Avamar support team for assistance. You will need access to PuTTY and the Avamar GUI, the name or IP address of the Avamar utility node, and the admin and MC user passwords. You will also require sufficient Unix knowledge to use a file editor, such as VI, First, we need to update the replication client to allow overtime. After logging in, open the policy screen. Click on the Clients tab. Select the MC system domain and highlight the client. In most cases, this will be the Avamar utility node. Click Edit. From the Properties tab, change the overtime option to always allow overtime and click ok now we need to update the replication group policies click on data movement policy to list the existing replication groups double click on the group name to edit in our example this is replication one click on seven overview Select more options, followed by more. Please verify the plugin type is replicate. As shown on screen in the enter attribute field type REPL script enclosed within square brackets, followed by timeout and then 999999 in the enter attribute value field. Click on the plus symbol to add the attribute and value, and OK to save. You will then be returned to the previous screen. Verify the REPL script setting appears in more options, and then click Finish. As noted earlier, these steps must be repeated for each group that requires overtime. Now we need to update the MCS configuration. As admin, navigate to the directory shown on screen. Check for any existing configuration files by typing the ls command shown and review the output. Make a backup of the current configuration file. Again, an example is shown on screen. Repeat the ls command to verify that the backup file exists. Using VI or equivalent, edit the mcserver.xml file. Locate the entry for repl underscore window underscore hours and change the value from 24 hours to the desired value. In our example, we changed this to 48. Save the file and exit. If you wish to verify the changes, you can use the diff command, as shown, to see the changes between the two files. Check the current services by typing dpnctl status. This will take a little time to complete. If MCS is up, it must be restarted for the changes to take effect. Type dpnctl stop mcs 
This can take minutes to complete. Once shut down, restart MCS by typing dpnctl start MCS. Again, this can take minutes to complete. Once MCS has started, finish the procedure by restarting the backup scheduler. Type dpnctl start shed and the scheduler will resume. Please take note of the following step required for Avamar version 7.5.1 and lower. It is strongly advised that extending the 24-hour limit only be changed short-term. Again, if replication jobs regularly fail to complete within the assigned window, please contact the Dell EMC Avamar support team for assistance. Please refer to the knowledge article 58188 for more information. Thank you for watching.